hunting for pythons in the Florida Everglades. Uh, it's an important job and someone's got to do it. ABC's Andrew Dimbert met with two python hunters not afraid to get down and dirty in the weeds. Looking for a Burmese python. For Peggy and Beth, hunting pythons in the depths of the delicate Florida Everglades is too important a job to neglect. The trick is to not hesitate. Get right up on it, assess the situation, find out where the head is, find out what direction it's moving, and grab it by the neck. One of the largest snakes in the world, adult Burmese pythons caught in Florida average between six feet and nine feet in length, the largest ever captured, measuring in at 18 feet long. Have a lot of muscle, they're very, very strong. With an appetite for mammals, birds, reptiles, and even alligators, this particular breed of snake is having a devastating ecological impact, wreaking havoc on the critical warm wetlands of South Florida. With no known predators, their threat to other wildlife and the sensitive Everglades ecosystem has left conservationists with little other choice but to hunt them down. And so the Florida Python Challenge was born. Now in its 10th year, the 10-day competition calls on both professionals and novices to hunt from one of the largest snakes known to man in hopes of restoring balance to the fragile habitat and, of course, cashing in on more than $30,000 in prizes. The real point of the challenge is to raise awareness about invasive species and their negative impacts they're having on Florida. We tagged along with veteran python hunters Peggy and Beth in search of these snakes. When you tell people, I'm a snake hunter, what's their first reaction? You're nuts. The gigantic species of snake is native to Southeast Asia, but the exotic pet trade brought them to the other side of Earth, South Florida where they've exploded in population, endangering this vital stretch of warm wetlands. You don't have any place on the, on the planet that's like this. And, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, the Florida Everglades. Any thoughts on that? They're an invasive species, and these women are doing hard work. I will not be doing that hard work. No. <laughs> But way to go to them because that, I mean, that's crazy. Well, it's intense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in, in the Florida Everglades, think of like the weather we have, but more humid. No, thank you. You know?